Hey everybody, it's Chris Loud. Today I'm gonna to be doing an intuitive abstract acrylic painting loosely based on colors and patterns of a bee and honeycomb. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be painting a bee and a honeycomb, but just using those colors. Uh, but we'll see by the end kind of where I go. Uh, I'm using an eight inch by eight inch canvas and right now just trying to get my first layer down um, using some cadmium orange, alizarin and crimson, yellow ochre. I believe I have some cadmium yellow there. Uh, I know at one point I have some Naples yellow as well and, uh, and titanium white. And I started with a, a China marker. Now I'm going to be using these inexpensive brushes I picked up at Home Depot, I think for 97 cents, something like that. Uh, and just really getting some more some more black and variations of yellows down uh, as well as a little bit of uh, cadmium orange in there and um, at this point I'm just exploring I'm, I'm getting some paint down and seeing where this takes me um, looking for anything in there that I want to kind of follow. Um, in this painting session, I th I think this particular painting, I probably have four or five different variations of this painting. I'm, I'm heading in a direction, don't really like what I'm seeing, so I pivot and start heading off in a different direction. Um, so really any of these I could have kept going with, uh, and probably work something out uh, that would in the end work, but um, really just kind of, like I said, it's intuitive. I'm just kind of feeling my way, and when I don't like where I'm headed, I, I, I try and make a change. And uh, in this one, you will see several of those changes. And at the end, I will show you um, a few variations uh, that were in this in this painting so you can kind of compare and I'm sure that some of you will probably not like some of the decisions I make at the end um, as far as things that I removed um, and directions I, I go but uh, again it's an, an intuitive painting and you know having some fun and just kind of seeing where this leads me So right now you can see I'm kind of headed in, in one direction. Um, I'm getting a little bit more of uh, thick paint down and kind of at this point I was, I was kind of liking where I was heading. Um, but very quickly decided that I really kind of got in a place where I didn't feel like I was, I had any momentum. Um, to go forward so um, got a big brush and, and started putting some some big brush strokes down and and changing things up and while I well I said I was not trying to paint a bee uh, by any means you can already see that I've got a little bit of you know we when we think of bees we think of black and yellow and stripes, um, at least I do. Um, and right now I've got three, um, I don't know if I'd call them stripes, but three sections of black and, and lots of uh, yellow in there. So um, you are seeing a, a little bit of a pattern of, of a bee. But one thing I can tell you is that I put a lot of paint down and uh, when you change up directions, um, like I'm doing, you get a, a great base of paint um, and you start building up some, some amazing textures, which this painting ends up with a lot of great textures on it. So here I'm, I'm pivoting and I'm, I'm moving to a different direction. And at first I kind of liked where I was headed with this um, and then kind of froze up and really didn't know where I wanted to take it. So uh, pull out a palette knife and uh, start pulling a little of this paint away. And once again, heading off in a different direction. 
I'd love to say that I always know where I'm headed with paintings, but I don't. Um, that's kind of the fun of painting is, um, you know, there's definitely plenty of times that you have an idea of where you're headed. If you're doing a landscape and you have an example and you're kind of working towards that example, um, intuitive paintings and, and for the most part, abstract paintings, a lot of times you don't really know where you're going. A lot of times you do, but, um, plenty of times you don't. So these lines I'm putting down right now, I'm, I'm thinking about the wings of, of a bee and how they have kind of those those veins, those dark veins in, in the wings. So just start playing with that a little bit. And then start thinking of uh, stripes. So at this point, I'm, I'm putting paint down and I'm, I'm really just kind of in search of something that I like, something that leads me in the direction this painting wants to lead me. And there's uh, several times in here where I did stop the video and dried this with a hair dryer and let it dry for a few minutes. Um, and the great thing about where I'm at, I'm in a more of an arid climate and with acrylic paints like this, um, they dry pretty fast. So even even when it's thick so I didn't have to spend too much time on that and I got a fan brush out and started uh, trying to soften up some of the edges here some of the, the lines that I just put down again just searching and I Worked on this painting this morning and kind of stopped and I'll show you the stopping point and just put it on put it on my wall and kind of looked at it throughout the day and, and kept uh, finding you know that that I was not liking where it was and was thinking about okay what can I do what direction can I head in so um, a little later I, I put it back down and and kept working on it. I'm just trying to work a little bit of that cadmium orange into the painting. Luckily, I was using a canvas on this one because the amount of paint that I had been putting down in my change up on directions, um, I would have had a lot of paint on a piece of paper. I think that paper, paper excuse me, would have buckled pretty quickly. And now I'm starting to go off in another direction. And I'm starting to like what I see uh, with this. I'm, I'm kind of trying to quiet down how busy this painting was and isolate some, some shapes. And then, uh, like I said, there's some great texture, and I had uh, some some wonderful colors in the background. So I started um, slowly pulling some of that paint away with a palette knife, and then taking my mini brayer and thinning that paint out, kind of spreading it around a little more evenly. And this is the place where I stopped. Um, I'll show you different orientations here. And I was liking kind of where I was headed here. Um, wasn't sure what what uh, orientation I like best on this but um, started playing a little bit more of the palette knife um, wanted to get a little bit more cadmium orange down but uh, again do make some marks and then and then pull them back a little bit still still looking I liked where it was going but I still didn't feel like I had a, a really solid direction for that matter, I don't know if I ever really felt like I had a solid direction with this one. I thought that orange was maybe a little too much, so I, I tamped it back just a little bit. So that's where it ended up. And you can see when I came back, I'd already painted over that middle section. Um, and now I'm just trying to figure out if I wanted to paint a couple of those other spots away and make this more of a minimalist painting and so as you can see 
that's what I did. That one up there really didn't didn't feel like that was working too well. It was a little too too geometric for me. And now I'm putting some some bits of paint down because I there's a little spot up in the upper left that kind of gave me the impression of a honeycomb. Um, and so I started thinking, well, what if I played with the whole honeycomb idea? Not that I wanted a perfect honeycomb um, and have those shapes, but just just play with it. So that's kind of where I was headed with getting some of the Naples yellow and, and yellow ochre down. Uh, just trying to see if I could kind of work out some honeycomb um, type shapes in there. I felt like the lower left corner was pulling away from that upper left. So again, starting to go very minimalist here. And taking a look at it without the glare on it, different orientations. I actually really kind of like this. Again, very simple. And then I started thinking about scratching in some honeycombs. So I'm not going to show you the whole bit of me scratching these in, um, but this is kind of the direction I went. The upper left kind of had the look of, you know, abstract look of a bee. The same with the lower left and then a little bit on the right. So I'm going to show you the uh, final version of this. I'm going to show you a few of the uh, versions in between here. Um, but if you like this, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and want to see more of this, feel free to subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to, to leave those in the comment section. So here is the first version of this painting. Um, I could have done something with that. And there's the second version uh, where I was headed. And then here is the beginning of this section with the honeycombs. And then here is the final version um, that I ended with. So thanks for watching and keep on painting.